Look how dark it is today. Mm. I need to do my makeup, but it's so dark. Good morning everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. I am starting off my vlog in quite a dark situation. Um, the light just doesn't want to come out today. So I'm going to attempt to do my makeup now in semi-darkness, but um, we'll work with it, it's fine. So yes, um, I had quite a good sleep, got up quite early in preparation for my interview, and then the person interviewed me email me to say that she was ill so it's quite ironic that I had to cancel because I was ill earlier in the week and now she's not well so I've wished her well and yeah I just said let me know um, when you want to be arranged I think that'll be on Monday next week um, so yes I've just been editing my vlogmas from yesterday so that's exporting now I just need to upload it onto YouTube and then that'll be up tonight or yesterday when you see this um, so yes, and then I made a really cheeky purchase this morning. Ended up ordering the Tom Ford nude vanilla lipstick because I've seen two, I've seen Tanya Burr and Lydia Millen use it recently, and it looks so nice in them that I thought um, I would treat myself to it. And um, they had it. It was like three pounds off, which is still quite expensive on um, House of Fraser. So it was thirty-five pounds, which I know is a bit crazy for a lipstick, but. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it, so looking forward to that, um, so hopefully that will come soon. And I'm also getting a couple more packages today, um, which I promise it isn't like this normally, I hardly ever get packages at the moment, but um, just because I ordered quite a few things the other day for Christmas when I was ill in bed. Um, I should have a H&M order coming today, which would be my cushions, a jumper dress and um, just a cream cable jumper. So hopefully they're nice. And then also, what else do I have coming today? Oh, my desk chair. So um, hopefully that'll be nice and fit in my vicinity okay around here. Um, so yeah, that's going to come today. And I'm currently deciding what to do with my hair because basically I want to go to the hairdresser to get it done, but I can't really, um, don't want to pay for it at the moment because, well, a, I can't stop spending money on things like expensive lipsticks, <laughs> which I don't really need. And B, I change my mind a lot, so it doesn't seem worth me spending like over £100 to get my hair done. Um, when it's not really like horrendous now, it's just the roots. I mean, you can't really see in this light, but they go quite red. Um, I have nothing against red hair, but I just, um, it looks a bit strange on me, I think. So yeah, I'd like to have more cool tones put through it. Um, but when I find I find when I use like casting creme glosses or which I do enjoy using the L'Oreal ones, but um, they can go really really dark, and I end up with like black hair for like a week or so until it fades a bit. But I'm thinking about trying all the light ones again and then just like leaving it on the roots for ages so that the roots um, match up to the rest of my hair. So yes, that is my plan, and I ended up putting more fake tan on because I didn't feel like it developed properly yesterday. So I've got the Bondo Sand liquid gold on again. Um, well, not again. I've got the liquid gold version on this time. So yeah, that's developing now. My comfy um, jogging bottoms to move around in. And yeah, so my day's gonna be a bit different to what I thought it was gonna be today because obviously I'm not going for my interview first thing. So I'm kind of working out what I'm gonna do instead, really. Um, Catching up on Vlogmas. Um, I'm working later. I think it's going to be from 4 till 8 again because I don't think it's going to get that busy. So, slightly annoying that I'm not really going to get a full day's worth of work um, in terms of money, but I guess it's better than nothing. So, yes, that is this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do my makeup now and then I will update you as the day progresses. So, I'm ready and all I'm doing now really is just looking about looking into changing my email address. Basically I've got a Yahoo email account and I'm thinking of changing it because I feel like I've outgrown it. Um, it's a bit like when everyone had those Hotmail accounts and they were like ellababes.com, that kind of thing. Um, mine's not that bad but I don't really like it as it is. 
So um, I think I'm going to change it to something a bit more unique, a bit more me. Um, probably just be like Ella Ryder at something.com. But yeah, that's my plan now. And yeah, I think I'm probably going to end up putting this vlog with tomorrow's vlog because I haven't really got much planned today. Um, all I'm doing now really is setting up this email address and I wasted a lot of time on YouTube this morning which is really bad. Um, I uploaded a vlogmas video of today so that's done. That again took a lot longer than it normally does. So yes, um, I'm doing that now and yeah I don't want to bore you by just talking to you generally. So um, I'm probably going to have lunch and then go to my appointment and then working this evening again. So yeah it's a bit rainy outside so I'm not sure how fun it's going to be tonight but um probably going to deter the crowds away from Blenheim Palace unfortunately. Oh I nearly forgot to do my lipstick advent. Um, let me show you what I used today. I used Max Hue lipstick which was going to feature in one of my um, my blog posts and it's a nice pink. My MAC lipsticks are very similar but very different so that's what my blog post is going to be discussing. <laughs> um, so yeah that is my plan now and I kind of also want to have like a bit of a brainstorm on where I want my blog and YouTube channel to go, um, how I want to develop it and kind of like my goals for next year. I know it's quite early to be thinking about um, New Year's goals but yeah I've kind of got a few ideas of things I want to do with it and how I want to make it more me. Um, and kind of make my mark on the blogging world so yeah um that's also on my to-do list um but yeah that's it for the moment i'm afraid it's parcel time so my h&m orders just come and something else which i can't actually remember what it is definitely not a chair because it's too small so yes i'm gonna prop you up here so we can open it together. And we're gonna be the most exciting part of my day, so may as well include this in the vlog. I'm gonna open the mysterious one first. It looks a bit like a book. I really can't remember what this is. Oh yes, it's the Anastasia um, Back Glow Kit. Oh my god, I can't believe I've got all of this. So I found it on eBay for like £8. It's so pretty. Um, I don't think it was £10, so. But I thought that was really cheap, so I'm kind of sceptical <laughs> that it's going to be real, but it looks real. Look at it. Oh, so beautiful. Put the cover on. And test it. I'm not going to test it properly because I'm going to save it for Christmas. But yeah, it was this um bubbly shade I was interested in trying. I don't know if you can see, probably not on my hand, um, because the light's coming in. But it's quite a nice sheen. I like the packaging, obviously, because it's like a peachy pink colour. So that was a nice unexpected delivery. Well, expected because I knew it was coming, but um, unexpected because I forgot. <laughs> I was in my illness phase when I was ordering that stuff. Okay, so now H&M. These are the cushions and the jumper and the dress. Quite a big order. First of all, here's the cushion. Hmm. Just fold it up. Okay. It's thinner than I thought, that's interesting. So this is going to go on my bed, like in front of two cushions at the back. So here's the long version. And then I've got this cushion cover with tassels. I'm not going to open these because again I'm saving them for Christmas. Um, this is a cream both a uh, cushion cover, which looks very nice. Go with my white bedding. Then we have 
a seat cushion, which is, I don't know if you can see in this light, but it's like a um, very, very pale dusky pink, um, which I'm going to put on my desk chair when that comes, should be today. Probably going to try the clothes on just in case because I don't want to have to return these after Christmas. And this was £30 and I got it in a size S. Um, it's just a high neck cable jumper with long sleeves. I've been looking for like something like this for so long and I've seen them before but um, I'm just committed to buying it recently. I'm not sure I'll try that on actually because it looks like it'll fit okay. Um, I'm not too fussy with my tops. And then last but not least is the dress. This way I'm not going to have to do what I got for Christmas video because you're going to see most of what I get in this. Um, and I've got this long dress, just a ribbed, quite similar to the colour I'm wearing now actually, so you can tell I like it. Um, dress in a size 8. And I couldn't really find a jumper dress that I like, so I thought this was kind of near enough. And it's got the kind of like, um, I don't know what you call it, slightly frilly sleeves. So I'm going to put these away in my sister's room, where, which is currently where all the Christmas presents are living, which she'll be pleased to know. So yeah, I think that's quite a successful haul. I'm pretty pleased with those purchases and I'm going to put everything away now. It is the evening time. I was running so late the whole day. After having quite a like lazy morning, I was just late for my appointment because of traffic and then I was late picking up the other girl for the shift I was at work for so I was like a crazy person running around everywhere um but yeah I did my shift and it was quite cold I was outside for a bit um I got to wear a jacket so that's okay but yeah I'm very glad to be home now in the warm um and then I've got a few days off now which is nice um tomorrow I'm gonna combine this vlog with tomorrow's because I haven't done enough today vlog wise to warrant a vlog on its own. I'm just gonna take my makeup off and go to bed now but I thought I would say goodbye and goodnight anyway because that's part of the deal doing vlogmas. Um, so yeah, it's about half ten now so um, I like to go to bed early if you couldn't tell already. Um, so yes, I will see you in the morning. morning um it is friday morning it's about 8 30 and i'm just sipping on a matcha latte before i go on a run I haven't been on a run in a while so i thought i'd get back out there and just give myself an easy one maybe like 10 20 minutes nothing too crazy um yeah so i've just done a pilates workout quickly like a 20 minute one just for some toning and yeah i'm gonna go out on my run now after i sip this and get on my day I've got quite a lot to do today. Um, <clears throat> I've got a whole like massive to-do list of things to do. Um, but I did forget to mention last, I can't remember if I told you last night, I dropped my phone down the toilet, which was great. Um, I put it in my back pocket because there wasn't any secure lockers where I was working. So I didn't want to lose it or anyone to steal it because it's an iPhone. So I put it in my back pocket and then went to the toilet, which was not thinking because I never had my phone in my pocket and it just fell in. and. I nearly swore like really loudly but um, yeah luckily it was okay or so I thought and then I got home and tried to play I think I was trying to listen to snapchats and um, it wasn't playing the sound and I was like oh god so I looked up on google how to fix it and something I've heard before which a lot of people suggested was to put the phone in some rice and then cover or in a resealable bag or put it in a bowl and then cover it with cling film and then put it in like a cool um, or warm environment I think it was. So I did that, I put my phone in my in a bowl full of rice, covered it with cling film and then put it in the airing cupboard in my room and left it overnight and I kept waking up during the night like thinking about it. Um, it's funny like how attached you get to your phone but yeah so I woke up this morning quite early, didn't know what time it was because I didn't have my phone and then I um, picked, took it out the airing cupboard and it was okay so Thank God I didn't have to get my phone fixed today because that would have been a really annoying task. Um, so it seems okay now, fingers crossed. But yeah, so definitely check out that rice tip if you have any problems with your phone because 
maybe I was just lucky, but it definitely worked for me. Um, cause I think it soaks up all the moisture in the phone. So yeah, definitely um, one of those good old wives tales that you hear about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and run and then I'm going to unbox my new desk chair which arrived yesterday evening when I was out. So um, I'm going to see what that looks like up. And then I might go into a hairdresser's near me that apparently is quite good, my friend recommended. So I kind of just want to show them a picture of the kind of thing that I want and then see if they can do that at any point for me. Um, there's no point, I don't want to just turn up and then them not know what to do with my hair, that kind of thing. So yeah, um, I'm going to do that and need to redo my nails, need to shower, need to write a blog post, need to edit video, need to edit this vlogmas video, need to make a new email address, I've got a lot to do so I better get on with my day. use the bin but this is my new chair that I just opened I'm holding it because it's not put together yet but I got it from Amazon and I think it's quite good quality it's like a faux leather so then I got a cushion from H&M to go on it and yeah I'm quite looking forward to my little work set up here it's got like these wooden um, legs and like black bars across the sides so yeah, really happy with that and that's something for my dad to try and put together on Christmas Day. So I just, well A, I'm ready, Ooh, apart from me to do my hair and paint my nails. But I just went to return that H&M dress I got yesterday because I tried it on and it was really really short and I'm just not comfortable wearing a dress that short so I'm returning that. H&M um, is so much easier to return things now, you just... Um, it's a bit like ASOS, you put the form inside, attach the prepaid label and it's done. So that's really good. Um, but I took it to the post office like in the village near me and it's so slow. I turned the camera on anyway because I got another parcel. Um, so the light's really weird. I'm going to pop you here. This is probably not a very flattering angle. So I got an Origins Ginseng eye cream off of eBay because it's a lot cheaper. So it was in the sale for like £13 I think, as opposed to like 20 So, little pot. <clears throat> I've been eating the eye cream because I've been taking my mum's, so yeah, this is going to be nice and um, brightening if I can open it. This range smells so nice as well, it's really refreshing. So you can see. Yeah, so pretty pleased with that. I'll add it to my this, um, pile of Christmas things. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I am going to have some lunch now, and then I need to get on and edit um, Sunday's video. I don't know if I've told you already, I'm going to a um, the launch of a shoe shop in Oxford called Shoe Embassy with my friend Nisha. I've just been wasting so much time. Well, first of all, I did my hair, which I'm actually quite pleased with never normally curls as well but it took a long time to do um, I've just done that and then I got a phone call and I've basically been offered a new job and um, there's a few fine details I'm working out but yes I am going to be a social media exec for a quite a well known watch brand so um, yeah I'm really excited about that and it's definitely good news on a Friday um, so yes I will obviously keep you updated with how that goes and um, yeah so I'm glad my kind of hard work paid off um, for the preparation I did for that interview and apparently they're really impressing me and yeah so I'm really pleased and now I just need to do my nails because I can't decide whether to paint them with like a black or a like a really grazy nude colour this um, Leighton Denny one oh nearly fell off um, I can't decide which one to use I'm ready to go now and I'm wearing my knee high boots which are from New Look and my jumper dress which I know is a bit clingy but we're working with that which is from Topshop last year um, my hair I've just done like with a bit of curls, a bit of movement but my makeup's quite simple um, I think fancy but yeah I'm 
about to leave to meet my friend on the bus and we're going to go into Oxford and check out the new shoe embassy so I'm excited for that and then we're going to go get dinner somewhere and it's really dark outside already which is why the light's on but yeah um, oh, and the lipstick I'm wearing today is my Lano lips which is, I won't get it out, but it's like a lip balm, lipstick, gloss thing. Um, pink as usual, so yeah. I will vlog as much as I can. I'm back home now. I'm talking very quietly because my family are asleep. Um, it's nearly 12 o'clock, which is very late for me to be going to bed. But I had a great time in Oxford at the Shoe Embassy um, launch. And I got some gorgeous boots, which I'm going to show you now because they're so beautiful. Um, I got a lovely invitation, which is very Harry Potter style esque with the seal on the front. And these beautiful boots, which I can't wait to wear. Um, hopefully you can see them in this light. I'll show you tomorrow as well. But they are navy suede with like a wooden heel. And they're so unlike anything I've ever had before. But I think they'll be a really classic piece. And um, really fit into my wardrobe and style well. So I'm really happy with them. Um, so yeah, I've got my new boots. So I'm happy. And I've got a goodie bag as well which has like um, some shoelaces in, a cookie which is gone, key ring, um, and other bits and pieces. Um, they have shoe embassies in Westfield in London, Camden Stables, um, Blue Water, Greenwich Market, Brick Lane, so they're all over the country, well, southern country, <laughs> and um, yeah, some really nice good quality shoes but for like affordable prices, not completely unreasonable. Um, so yes, I think I'll be getting some good use out of these boots and probably do an outfit post with them soon so you can see them in action. Um, but yeah, I need to put some suede protector on though because I don't want them to get all marked because they look so... well, they look a bit marked because I've been touching them. <laughs> but um, I want to protect them as much as I can. So yes, I did that and saw the Mayor of Oxford, who I've never seen before. It was really nice, really nicely designed. Um, really suited Oxford, I think it will do really well there. Um, so yeah, it was nice to meet some other bloggers from Vista, who I've never met before. And yeah, then we went for dinner. I couldn't get in a couple of places we tried, tried Bill's, tried a Thai restaurant, and then we ended up going to Turtle Bay, which is one of my faves. So yeah, we went there and I had like the brown chicken with rice and peas and dumplings which are a bit too tough so I only had one um, and I had some tap water, really exciting and then we went to a couple pubs after um, just for a quick drink and catch up before my friend had to get the bus back so yes I did that and, and then I met some of my other friends in town in Vista because there's a new like, well it's kind of new pub bar open um, where they do like a gin menu which um, is definitely up my street because I love gin so yeah I just went to say hi didn't have anything to drink because it was kind of like past the point of me wanting a drink <laughs> um, so yeah I said hi to them and then my dad kindly gave us a lift back home just now um, because he's very very kind and on the way in, while I was waiting for my friend to arrive on the bus, it was running late, so I went into Superdrug quickly. Big mistake, so I ended up buying something. So I ended up buying two lipsticks from Gosh. I'd never actually bought makeup from them before, 
they're really nice colours and you guessed it, I got nudes. So this one is Angel, which is really like pale pink colour, hopefully you can see it. Um, I'll show you properly tomorrow. And then matte colour, which is Baby Lips, which is more of a nude brown, but it's like a matte shade. Really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, I've already tried both of those out. And they were under £5 each, so not too bad. And then, but I can't believe I got them when I just ordered a Tom Ford lipstick. What is wrong with me? Um, and then I also got, I also got a free eyeshadow palette, which is really cool. Which is also gosh. And I'll show you the colours there. I haven't tested them out properly yet. But, um, ooh, they look quite nice, I thought. So yeah, for a free eyeshadow palette, I didn't do too badly there. Um, so I made a bit of profit tonight. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to take my makeup off now and get into bed because I'm in London tomorrow um, seeing my friend. So I will vlog if I can. And yeah, we're going to do some Christmassy things and get in the festive mood. So I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, it's over and out for me. Thank you for watching this vlog and please subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying my videos. And leave a comment. Um, just saying hi and let me know what you're up to today because I would love to know. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.